Hi everyone, this is your demo for your Good Friday burn um, for tomorrow morning. Um, what you're going to need is a set of, or one heavier weight um, for a goblet squat, so you want it nice and heavy, and then another set of weights to do um, the other exercises. You're going to need a mat, and you're also going to need some vata. All right, um, so what a burn is, is five weight exercises and five cardio exercises. I tried to do some tougher cardio this week because I want to make sure you get a good workout in and you're nice and sweaty by the end, um, especially because it is Easter weekend and we might eat a little more, drink a little more than what we normally would. So here goes nothing. It's time for me to demo these for you. All right, here we go. So I'm just gonna use lighter weights for all of them just for demonstration purposes. So here we go. First exercise is a goblet squat. Your legs are just a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Squatting down and up, keeping that upper body nice and straight and squeezing in those butt cheeks when you come up. That's the first one. Then your cardio for this one are tuck jumps. So there's a few different ways that you can do your tuck jumps. You can just do a plain old tuck jump if you want. Um, if that's a little trickier, you can jump up and try not to hit my ceiling. Jump as high as you can. Or I personally like to add a crisscross and then a tuck jump. Crisscross, tuck jump. So there's three different variations for you to work on. Whichever one suits you is fine with me. Next, we have a dumbbell snatch. When you're snatching, make sure that you are not bending over like this, that you are coming down into a squat, coming up and up. I gotta watch, I don't have my ceiling. Okay, back down, we're rotating our arms and up. Down and up. You put your arm out to the side on your hip, whichever you prefer. Then we are going to do squat to toes and then squat to kick. So squatting nice and low, coming up on your toes, that'll, you'll feel that in your calves. Squatting low, kick, squatting toes, squatting kick, squatting toes, squatting kick, and keep going, you'll go a little bit faster, of course. When you're in it, I just went slow for demonstration purposes. Next, tricep extensions. I'm gonna go on my knees, but you don't have to. You can go on your knees, or your feet, whichever you prefer. All right, but I'm doing it just for demoing. Okay, dumbbell up, up, elbows pointing to the ceiling. The only thing moving should be your arms, nice and slow and controlled as you're going up and down. It's not a race. We want to make sure you keep the proper form and that you're getting the most out of it by going a little bit slower. All right, then we have donkey kicks. I don't like donkey kicks, but I knew they'd give me a good sweat. So I decided I was going to put them in the working way. All right. For donkey kicks, you can do it a couple different ways. You can kick up and try and hit your bum. Or this is another modification if you like. Choose what works for you. That's what's most important. All right, then the next one is a kneeling shoulder press. Your arms are going to die after doing donkey kicks and then going to shoulder presses, but you will thank me later. All right, kneeling. Okay. Your weights are at your shoulders and you're pressing. And pressing on your knees makes it a little bit trickier, but it is fun that way. Then I have burpees, of course because I don't think there's ever a time where I plan a class that I don't include burpees, because I think they're a really great exercise. So this time you're doing two skaters and a burpee. So a couple different variations, skater, skater, burpee out, or if you want a little more, touch down. Okay, and whoop, burpee up. Sorry, let me show you that again. And you can add that little hop in those skaters if you want do again what works for you. All right, last weight exercise is a deadlift. Okay, feet just a little bit more than shoulder width apart. Your knees are soft, you're coming down. 
Ping, you should feel it only in your legs, not in your back. Then back up and down as low as you can go. You do not have to touch the ground. You will feel the pull in your legs. All right, and then last one. You guys are lucky because I had get-ups planned, but Shelly did it in her AMRAP this morning. So I didn't want to have you do get-ups twice in a row because that would be just mean. And I'm not that mean. All right, so bicycle crunches. Make sure your shoulders are off your mat. When you kick your feet out, they're nice and straight. The higher your shoulders are up, the more you're gonna feel it in your abs. You're gonna feel that burn. And here we go, try and touch your knees. When you come up and kick that leg right straight out, going as fast as you can. All right, so those are your five weight, five cardio exercises. You are going to do three rounds of this. Your timer needs to be set for 45 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, except what I would like you to do when you get to your last round of deadlift and bicycle crunches, I want you to set your timer for one minute each. However, that is not the finisher. I have another finisher. I just wanted to make you do that because it's fun. All right, um, the last part of this demo will be our finisher. It's a song called, Everybody Get Up, Everybody Get Down. I'm telling you my arms were shaking after I did uh, my workout. So I think yours will be too. And I'm just gonna, oh, here we go. Okay, so, whoops, hold on. I don't know why it's not stopping. Wait a minute, here we go. Okay, so when you hear everybody Get up. So I think we'll start in a plank position, keeping that bum down, those abs engaged. You're really gonna feel it in your core. Okay, when the music starts, you're gonna start in a plank. When you hear everybody get up, you're gonna go up like this into a squat. Everybody get down, get down and hold. And I will demo with the music. Hopefully the music won't get cut off for us. But we'll see. So starting in a plank position. Down. Hold that plank. Up. down and hold it keeping that bottom down not up in the air if you have to go down for a second go down come right back up Down. All right, that song is three minutes. Just three minutes. You will do great. And that, excuse me, that is your finisher for um, tomorrow as well. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. Otherwise, have a great workout. Happy Easter. And I will see you all next week. Bye.